Mm. Batteries low. Welcome back to another episode of John Reviews Random Backpacks that he has. Because he has too many. This is the Osprey Pixel Backpack from uh, Osprey. And this has been my daily driver for about the past six months. And I actually really love it. It's a nice backpack. And I'll tell you why. I love it. But first, physical overview. The front. As you can see, it is a very unassuming backpack. And I love backpacks that are very clean, very tidy, and do not stand out too much other than my bright orange rain cover. As you can see, we have, oh, oh, we have a loose zipper. Get it up. We have two water bottle pockets, one here and one on this side. I wish they were a little deeper because you can see this is, I don't know, a 20 ounce water bottle. I wish it would go up to like here just to keep it in a little bit more. It keeps it in there, it keeps it in there, but it's, uh, yeah. Although it's very clean, very unassuming. Just to kind of give you an idea of, of what it looks like on the back. So I am about 5'8", 135 pounds. This is how it looks. I'm not, I'm not standing right now. I'm actually at my, my floor desk, so I'm kneeling, but you know, it's, it's, it's about a medium sized backpack. So not bad. I mean, it looks nice, right? <sighs> okay. What else do we got? We have a front pocket, which is nice. I just have like a cord cord organizer in there. It is lined with this like soft, soft touch uh, material. It almost feels like it's a bit plasticky as well, which might have something to do uh, with the fact that the bag itself is not waterproof. It's water resistant uh, to an extent, but I think this plastically, plasticky inside will kind of help uh, prevent anything from getting wet inside this pocket. That's what I have this uh, rain cover for. Uh, let's go to the back here. Oh, it's got a nice padded, uh, nice padded handle up here. Uh, because this bag, it's very compact, so it can get heavy very quickly because it can store a lot of stuff. So nice padded handle here. Nice mesh back uh, with foam slotted so it does keep your back actually pretty pretty nice and cool. Cool, cool and dry. And it is comfortable. It's not bad. Not the most padded straps in the world, but it's uh, some sort of foam and comfortable. You, you can wear this bag for a couple hours and not feel fatigued. You'll notice it has some uh, support assist straps up here, which is actually kind of nice because the majority of the weight of the bag will be held and supported by this strap and not the actual padded strap. So that does kind of help alleviate any wear issues with this padded strap since all the weight's going to this more rough, durable strap. You have your standard chest strap here, adjustable, and it comes with a nice little whistle. You also have a waist strap if you use this on your bike as a commuting bag. Bag, bag, we say bag in Wisconsin. I've been trying to say bag more because I've been told that is the proper way to say the word bag, and it's not bag, it's bag. We do have a little zipper here. We'll get to that in just a little bit. And uh, one last thing to note on the outside of the bag is this compartment down here and this is their I think they just call it their lower zippered compartment but it is a place to put cables and like power adapters for laptops so there has been some kind of backlash over the design of this bottom pocket it the zipper is kind of inside of this little curved lip here which you can kind of flip up but not a whole lot and it can be a little bit difficult to get to this compartment my best suggestion is just be rough with it if you're rough with it it opens up no problem and I have no issues getting into this compartment. You just gotta be a little bit rough. There's a little reflector, reflective material, reflective stripe here, and a little place to like clip on a bike light, which is nice. So to get into there, you just gotta kind of be rough with it and just kind of rip it open. Inside they have their, what do they call it? Their uh, powerhouse cord organizer, which is just a nice little bag with some zippers and some individual places for different cables. I just have a uh, extra battery for my T430 Lenovo laptop ThinkPad, and then also a 170 watt power, power adapter for my P52 Lenovo. So nice, compact, easy place. And then to get it back in, you just shove it in there and you just gotta be a little rough with it. Just, you know, 
as easy as that. So this is one of the flap design or flap flap bags. So you have this this material that goes over all of the compartments of the laptop, which is nice. I like it, but it does cause some issues from a functionality standpoint. Uh, one thing that is a little bit difficult are these clasps, clasps, clasps. They are a little bit difficult to get to, especially if the bag is very full, because most times when you latch everything together, you pull these nice and tight, and it can be a little bit difficult to get your fingers in there to unclip it. The fact that these are kind of hidden inside of the front too doesn't help, but you get used to it. Once you open this flap up, you get access to all of the insides of the laptop. And one thing to note right away is once the flap is open, it, it stays out of the way, which is really nice. It just kind of stays there and you have full access to everything on the inside. Also comes with a nice handy handle up here so you don't have to flap the flip, flip the flap, flip the flap back to get at the handle to pick it up and carry it somewhere else. You can just grab it here and carry it across the room. Pocket on the front right here. A lot of organization. Put your pens and doodads and keys and I usually have a power bank in here. Oh, what's in there? As you can see, this is a black and green bag. I wish they had different color combinations because I really like black and orange. So I wish they had black and orange or black and purple would be cool. But the green is nice because it's very easy to see inside the bag. Zippers are decent as well. They work. Okay. They, they work. They work. They really do. It's just it's a lot of fabric. But uh, the zipper pulls are kind of wimpy, just like a little piece of fabric. But they work. They're functional. Oh boy, the inside. You can fit a lot of stuff in this bag. It's it's a very compact bag, but you can fit a ton of stuff in here. I have two laptops in here. I love bags that have the capability of holding more than one laptop, and this one definitely has it. Bam, look at that. So I have my 15.6 inch P52 laptop right here. I have a 14 inch T430 laptop right here, and then two fairly large textbooks. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here and it it's you know it's compact it's a little bit on, you know on the wide side but as you can see from when i had it on my back it, it doesn't like protrude out from your back or anything it's it's nice and compact and the nice thing is it has these like little expansion like gussets so if you wanted to add more room to it so you know that's that's how much room you got in there you can unzip it oh, look at that you can fit a whole nother like two textbooks in there or like, I don't know, like a like a sweatshirt. So that's it's an awesome feature. So if you need more room, you got it. You just unzip it. If you don't, you just zip it back up and it becomes a nice compact backpack. It's nice. I would even venture to say that you could fit three laptops in here, maybe two and a half. There's one more little pocket right here that you could easily fit a like a 12 inch MacBook in there or a MacBook Air. Definitely would fit in there. So it'd be like two and a half laptops then. So let's just take out this stuff so I can kind of give you a tour. So I got my two textbooks. I got the power adapter for the T430. So plenty of room. Look at all that room right there. Laptop one. And we'll keep laptop two in there for just a second, but just, just to show you. I think these are just more for like papers and like magazines and stuff, your, your business documents, but they're large enough you can fit laptops in them. So if you want to do that, you totally can. We'll do the good old classic uh, bazooka style so you can see inside the bag boom so nice deep that right there is the bottom or the top of that pocket compartment right there all right look at that and a nice little flap to kind of keep your laptop in now notice how much room is here the laptops that you put in this main compartment are a little bit loose which i don't like a whole lot but it does give you a lot of flexibility to having different sizes of laptops in there. So if you wanted, you could even fit a 17 inch laptop in here. Now, one feature I did not talk about yet is this side access pocket, which is nice because it gives you access to the laptop compartment. So even if this flap is down like this, you have access to the laptop compartment. Now, one thing I will say is you cannot get a 15.6 inch laptop out of the bag very easily. So. You, it like stopped. It's not quite big enough from, from this way. But if you go from the bottom, you can kind of lift it up and then slide it out. So you, you, you can get a laptop out, um, but you definitely cannot get a 15.6 inch laptop in. Now a 15 inch MacBook, you probably could. You probably could fit that in and out, no problem. And like my 14 inch Lenovo laptop can also go in and out without any issues. So that's just one little, little 
functionality thing there. Uh, inside the laptop compartment, you'll also see a, another little zipper here, which I think is for a, like a tablet. You can put a tablet in there or you can put in like a passport or any you know, money or other sensitive items that you want to keep more hidden. One thing I don't quite like about this design is if you don't put the zipper up all the way, that metal zipper head is still there, so it could possibly damage your laptop. Osprey did somewhat think of that, and they do offer a little cover here, so if you zip it up high enough, it'll cover up the zipper, but if you don't, you could possibly scratch up your laptop, so just keep that in mind. And they do have a nice little little bungee area here, which I think is to kind of prevent your laptop from falling out if you accidentally leave this open and put it on your back, kind of prevents your laptop from completely falling out, but it still could pretty easily. What else do we got? I think that's about it. A very simple but functional backpack. Good materials, you know, I've had this for about five months and I see no wear on it at all. It's comfortable, it's expandable, so if you need more space, you can get more space, you just unzip the expansion gussets here. And uh, one more thing about the laptop compartment is it offers decent protection for your laptop, but it's not the, the most uh, well padded laptop compartment for a backpack. Um, this green padding right here, that's the only thing between your back and the laptop. There is very minimal padding on the bottom, so if you set the bag down hard, you could possibly damage your laptop, so be careful with that. I just shoved a couple extra foam pads in there that I had from a camera camera bag. Other than that, it's a great backpack. It's about $150 and some would um, find it on sales for like around $100. So I definitely think it's a great value for anybody looking to carry multiple laptops or have a backpack that is very tight, compact, clean, but also has the capability to expand. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking out the review. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Like and subscribe and hit the bell notification thingy to get notified. We'll see you at the next video.